ever pondered about the depth of God's goodness and his will towards us, it's a profound thought, isn't it? What's even more profound is the realization that God is unwaveringly good, always and only thinking about performing good things in our lives. He's never against us. This truth is beautifully captured in the verse Luke 2.14. This verse may be familiar to many of us, often seen on Christmas cards, but have we truly grasped its meaning? It quotes the angelic messengers who spoke to the shepherds in the fields the night Christ was born. Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill toward men. These angels weren't just delivering a festive greeting, they were carrying a divine message. The message is clear. God's will towards us is good, evidenced by his greatest gift, his son. A thought to ponder indeed. Now let's dive into another powerful verse, Romans 8:31. This verse is a beacon of hope and a testament to the unyielding goodness of our Heavenly Father. It questions, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? It's a reminder that God is on our side, always working for our good. Regrettably, many misinterpretations have taken flight, suggesting that our trials and tribulations are somehow God's doing, His way of teaching us lessons. This couldn't be farther from the truth. God has eternally recorded in his word that his will towards us is only good. There's no room for doctrines that paint our father as the author of our hardships. These misconceptions erode our faith, replacing it with unbelief and tarnish God's character. God's will towards us is confirmed in his word. It is only good. It's time we reject any doctrine that says otherwise. So, how do we respond to this truth about God's goodness? The answer lies in our words, our faith, and our actions. As believers, we must uphold this truth, even when the storms of life rage around us. We must remember the wisdom of Genesis 50 verse 20, where it's written, what the devil meant for evil, God can make it good. This is a powerful affirmation of God's ability to transform adversity into blessing, to turn shadows into sunlight. In our prayers, let us thank God for his good thoughts towards us. Let us echo the words of the shepherds who first heard the angelic message of God's goodwill towards humanity. And in our daily lives, let us live out this truth, shining a light on God's goodness for all to see. In the face of doubt, let us affirm, God is good. In the face of struggle, let us proclaim God is for us. And in the face of fear, let us remember God's will towards us is good. Remember in every circumstance and at all times, God is for you. He is good and his will towards you is good.